Hi guys, imagine that it is another dark, dreary, rainy day here in the collapse of a planet here in uh, the Finger Lakes of New York uh, here on this gloomy Wednesday, September 15th, 2021. But we're going to leave the Finger Lakes and the uh, regularly scheduled rant that I had prepared for today about, I can't even remember now because I want to thank several alert readers for sending me various versions of mainstream media stories and YouTubes and whatnot. And we're going to go over to the Faroe Islands, the Faroe Islands, which are somewhere off the coast of the UK. And uh, look at, uh, just look at the reason that humans need to go extinct. Uh, I need to be very careful with this video so I am not confused with somebody else down here in the Doomsphere looking at this. And I have had this, uh, mentioned this thing before. It was in a, uh, a scene in Seaspiracy on Netflix. You can find more video of this. I'm just showing this one picture because I don't need a copyright strike. But anyway, what this is, is, is where those evil uh, bastards over there uh, off the coast of Scotland in their yearly dolphin hunt. You, you know, these uh, blankety blanks claiming uh, that this is part of their culture that for 1,500 years that uh, the culture of the Faroe Islands, that killing uh, these dolphins. So apparently what happened, this, what, this happened Sunday night, that they killed just shy of 1,500 of these dolphins in the single, what very well might turn out to be, the single biggest dolphin slaughter in the history of the world. I think it was 1,438 dolphins were, were just slaughtered in cold blood. You can see the entire ocean uh, running, running red. And, and, and for these people, uh, the, these quote, I guess, noble savages. I, you know, there's some, there, there's some myth out there that noble savages are not white people. These are, uh, and, and make no mistake about what we're looking at. These are white people. These are noble white savages. Uh, you know, exercising their culture. This is their culture. What this is, is why humans need to go extinct. I was just having this very debate with a friend of mine this morning. She's trying to figure out whether she's become, whether she's a doomer chick or not. And the reason she's decided she's not a full doomer chick is because she sees evidence of human consciousness being transformed that you know human consciousness is being transformed and i guess we're all going to become a bunch of save the planet bliss minis and i told her uh, matter of fact i said not only do i disagree with your point but every bit of evidence i see is that human consciousness Ha, it, it has devolved more. It is at its lowest point and getting lower. I see exactly zero evidence of an evolution in human consciousness. And then uh, 15 minutes later, I go on my computer and find this evidence of the evolution of human consciousness. So, uh... What do you think is an appropriate response to this by the rest of the planet? And uh, just so we make sure we understand this, I originally thought that this was uh, about, uh, you know, over there in Japan, uh, over there in the cove, 
that dolphin slaughter over there in the cove. No, they, more dolphins were killed Sunday right off the coast of the United Kingdom than are killed, you know, in the entire six-month dolphin hunt uh, in, in Japan, where you'll see these similar things uh, over there in the cove. And... Uh, what I think this is evidence, I, I, I think every one of these people needs to be shot and killed. They need to be lined up in front of a firing squad, and every one of these people needs to put a bullet, get a bullet through their head. Uh, that's what I think. But, but a lot more than that, uh, this is why humans need to go extinct. Right here. Does anybody need uh, any other uh, picture than this for inescapable proof that humans are irredeemable? We are evil, bloodthirsty savages. It makes no difference what your culture is, what your skin, col skin color is, where you live on this planet, humans are irredeemable, bloodthirsty savages who need to pretty much uh, be lined up in front of a firing squad and uh, and, and get bullets through their head. Uh, and uh, that's all. That's all I have to say, I guess. So let's read. We're just going to read the. Uh, this is. There's a whole bunch of these. This is just Newsweek. This is how the mainstream media is playing it in Newsweek today. Uh, <clears throat> almost 1,500 dolphins were horrifically slaughtered off the coast of the Faroe Islands during a, quote, hunt. A, quote, hunt on Sunday night. The massacre is believed to be the largest single hunt of cetaceans, a group compromised, comprising whales, dolphins, and porpoises ever recorded worldwide. Marine conservationist and activist group Sea Shepherd told Newsweek, the hunt known locally as the Grindar Rap saw whalers target a massive pod of white-sided dolphins, herding the animals into Danish waters where they were cornered and brutally stabbed to death. Under Faroese law, the hunt, a long-standing tradition in the region, is deemed legal, although many dispute the practice as unsustainable slaughter and unnecessary suffering. Yes, do you think so? A total of 1,428 dolphins were killed in, quote, the largest ever single hunt of dolphins or pilot whales in Faroese history, close quote, and possibly the, quote, largest single hunt of cetaceans ever recorded worldwide, close quote. Uh, sea Shepherd UK Ambassador Helen Taylor told Newsweek, uh, quoting uh, the Sea Shepherd's spokesperson, quote, to get a sense of scale, this massacre at Skala Botnor approaches the quota for the entire six-month dolphin killing capture at Taji in Japan and actually exceeds the numbers killed in any recent years of the Japanese six-month dolphin killing and capture season. For such a hunt to take place in 2021, in a very wealthy island community just 230 miles from the UK with no need or use for such a vast quantity of contaminated meat is outrageous, close quote. Blue Planet Society, a group campaigning to end the overexploitation of the world's ocean, described the massacre as, quote, a population level slaughter. 
<sighs> Quote, in sheer numbers, it is comparable to the mass slaughter of the North American bison, and we all know what happened then, volunteered John Hurston told Newsweek. Quote, Denmark and the European Union cannot turn a blind eye to this one. We are talking about a population level slaughter, a massacre of a protected species, close quote. According to Norwegian Sea Shepherd volunteer and activist Samuel Rostal, the pod was driven over 45 kilometers, that's about 30 miles, to a beach by Skalatbotnor where the beach dolphins were slaughtered for over one hour. Rostal shared graphic footage of the event with Newsweek. Quote, you will see dolphins who have been partially stabbed, bleeding to death while shivering in pain. You'll see dolphins not stunned, but cut open, cut open via their necks to bleed them out. Some of them get their spines severed, which renders them immobilized, but not unconscious. You will hear people laughing. This is true. I, as I said, I don't want the copyright strike. You will hear people laughing. You will see kids playing. You will see blood splashing as the dolphins fight for their lives. You will see young dolphin calves dead on the beach. Close quote. Uh, this goes on. Let's see. Rostal said the, the hunt traditionally began as a slaughter of pilot whales, and the dolphin hunts are a much younger practice. The Blue Planet Society said records of the hunts date back to 1584. Uh, quoting, uh, I can't remember who at this point we're even quoting. <clears throat> this hunt was ill-prepared with far too few people taking part in it, which prolonged the suffering of these animals who, for many of them, were simply stranded on the beach, unable to leave for a long period while their family members were slain around them." Close quote. Many justify the hunt as a cultural tradition and an example of, quote, indigenous whaling, yes, with motor boats and uh, jet skis. Motor boats and jet skis certainly sounds like an example of indigenous whaling to me, as the mammals were traditionally hunted as a food source for the local population. However, activists question how many of the animals are actually sold for meat and how many are killed to maintain a vital supply of fish to support the highly lucrative fishing trade, noting the Faroe Islands has a population of just 53,000 people. Uh, quoting, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter who these quotes are from. Quote, the different kinds of dolphin hunts on the Faroe Islands is no longer an important food source. Uh, <clears throat> sea Shepherd Ambassador Taylor agreed, adding the hunt occurred, quote, towards the end of the summer when the Faroese have already killed 615 longfin pilot whales and their freezers are already full. Video footage shared by the activist groups shows the dolphins being herded towards their deaths as boats surround the terrified animals while they thrash helplessly against the spears and propellers of the boats. The bloodshed cause the sea to turn red as dolphin carcasses washed to the shore and piled up on the sand. Uh, this is Blue Planet Society. Uh, quote, piled up like trash and soon to be dumped. 
it's unlikely they will be able to process 1,428 dolphins. There is absolutely no excuse for a modern, wealthy country to be continuing with such archaic and barbaric cruelty in the 21st century. Close quote. And anyway, I will, uh, I will put uh, the link on here, uh, and you can go watch all of these YouTube videos and read these other articles. Guys, it is time for humans to go. We have lost our right to exist on this planet. Bye, guys.